Eu seria de Minecraft video em which I'll be having creatures from the Tensura mod fighting. Creatures from Dice and Fire mod. Yeah, that's honestly all there is. And I need to be on... Okay, I know I don't need to be on Peaceful. Or rather I need to be on anything but Peaceful. There we go. But yeah, first Stymphalian birds against the Black Spider. I really was hoping... Oh wait, I, I actually made this happen. Just the bird doesn't want to fight. Oh, okay. Oh no, it does want to fight. Oh, well that's delightful. I am actually kind of shocked. I really didn't think it's gonna work out, but... There we go. Wait, is the bird actually gonna win somehow? Okay, thank you, spider. You're not gonna lose against a single metal bird, are you? Are you? Are you? Okay, you can climb on walls. Thankfully, that does give you an advantage. And wait, okay, yeah, you did definitely take it down. Good work. I am glad you were able to take down the weakest creature within the ice and fire mod. <laughs> Next, we have a cockatrice. This is gonna go. I mean, it's gonna go honestly as well. I don't think a metal spider can. Or rather, a black spider can lose against the cockatrice. Even the cockatrice has one of the coolest things ability. Yeah. The wither scythe. I mean, wither scythe obviously is broken, but yeah. Uh, the spider has the ability to make creatures be swore, poison, and it is just way stronger when it comes to health. Come on. I am gonna. I, I would like to move on to. Okay, thank you. I mean. Throw is the next one. I, I, I almost never have these guys in the videos. Mostly because they forget they exist. They are only underground, so it's very rare that I actually fight them in any mod pack or anything. Alright, I spawned two. That's not what I meant to do. I spawned three. Whatever. A spider against. Oh. Okay, wait again. A spider against three throws. Or maybe one. It depends. We'll see whether they're gonna fight each other. Okay, yeah, one throw. Alright, this guy's way faster than I thought. Uh, he can't do any damage. Oh wait, he's doing damage. A little bit. Maybe. Oh yeah, he's doing a little bit, but... Oh wait, 15? Okay, maybe the throw is actually gonna win this, shockingly enough. It's so nice to actually see this mob fight. Oh, this guy got turned into stone. It's probably because it's daytime. Oh, no, I wanted to see... <sighs> That's honestly so unfortunate. Really though, why... Why did it turn... The roof is complete. Huh. Well, let's try again and hope that this time the spider is not gonna push the throw under the sun. Alright, throw against the spider. They're probably gonna walk into the sun again somehow. How is it sunny? Also, it's raining. It doesn't make any sense that they got turned into stone. That's the reason, obviously, they don't like the sun. But still, I don't get... Okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, wait, that spider is still there? Alright, whatever. Also... Oh, alright, cool. Huh. Way closer than I anticipated. Next we have a Myrmex Royal against a spider. So two insects fighting each other. Let's see how it's going to go. It's probably gonna go horribly for the Royal. Yeah, is the single spider gonna be the reason <laughs> that the Fire and Ice mod loses? I mean obviously you know, the Fire and Ice mod is not as insanely overpowered as an anime mod. Every single anime mod is awesome. I mean as well as this. I mean honestly a lot of the anime mods are awesome. When it comes to just insane powers. Uh, but yeah, next we have a Cyclops. I'm still on the first mob, the spider. Are we gonna get to its big brother? I believe it's called the giant armored spider. I don't know. Oh, oh my goodness, we actually are. Okay, good work, Cyclops. You actually handled the black spider quite quickly. Now let's, let's go to the night spider. Obviously not an improved version. Oh, you're actually gonna attack it yourself. That's delightful. Okay, well, it seems like the Cyclops is gonna be the first challenge, because, yeah, squash it. Oh, okay, still alive. And yeah, right, you kicked it, although they did have health, so I, yeah, I, I don't have much faith. Next, we have the Tempest Serpent. This guy does have insane poison, so let's see where that's gonna... Oh! Oh my, okay, yeah, alright. You tried to have a snack with the Serpent, and you destroyed it, wow. Okay, I guess the Serpent is... But the serpent, I thought the serpent was stronger than the spider, but I guess, I mean, matchup matters. Matchup does matter. Uh, let's see another warder. I'm gonna be spawning a lot of these guys, actually, against the Cyclops. Oh, and it. Yep, no, wait, what? This other warder is just not, oh. Huh. Alright, just multiple versions of other warders. 45 damage. Okay, so the other warders do do a decent amount of damage, just... Clearly enough, wait, is, oh my goodness, this one won without taking any damage? I'm so confused. Let's have a quick rematch, just out of pure curiosity. First attack this, oh, okay, you're right, attack the assassin, I guess. 
Every single attack does 4 damage, so I guess this assassin must have a special ability. That's why the other Wilder mob is kind of inconsistent, because each one kind of has a different skill and ability, so... Hmm. I don't know, I'm, I'm definitely incredibly confused. I'm gonna say the other water is one, but I'm not gonna move to... Uh, what's on the next mob? Hydra. Yeah, the Hydra... The Hydra is quite powerful, and honestly, a better generation is just insane. Honestly, the Hydra might be the strongest one here. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, I have other type of other worlders. Are these the stronger ones? Oh, well, maybe. We'll see. Oh, devoured. Yep. Okay. Oh, I summoned two. I did not mean to do that. Let's just get rid of you. Right, other worlder with his whole group of people. And what is going on? Why aren't you attacking? Attack if you want mind. And you attack. Just all you attack. Come on. Combat. All the... Alright, yeah, obviously they don't stand much of a chance. And, yep, yeah, one chomp. Okay, we have this one, and this one, and, yeah, seems like... Oh! No, seems like that's about it. I don't think any of these guys are gonna be able to do much at all. Yeah, clearly. So what else do we have except the other worlders? We have a lizard man. Then, she's way... Okay, we're getting to the soon. To the zone to the powerful ones. Oh wait, the alchemist is doing stuff. I didn't expect that. An alchemist other water against a cyclops. Wow. So it seems like there is just two other waters that actually can take down the cyclops, but I will still use it in the next fight too. Even if it does lose. <laughs> yeah, well the alchemist's regeneration is in the end I guess gonna lead to a victory. I suppose so. And uh, how long do we need to continue this? Yeah, I mean, eventually the Cyclops is just gonna lose. I guess let's fast forward this and I'll be back. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, this other water clearly enough holds a lot of power. Well then, uh, once again, wait, why do I have lizard men as the next one? Lizard men are not that tough. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, I guess I just summon a cyclops just to see. No, wait, I need to get rid of this guy. He's simply too strong. Alright, cool. Get rid of him. Now, attack the lizardman, if you won't mind. Okay, eat that apple dragon. I don't care. Uh, Alright, let's just summon another one. Okay, whatever. Summon another one. Lizardman. I don't know why I'm doing this like I'm doing it, but I just want to see. Why do we have the lizardman here? Maybe, oh, maybe I should name it. Okay, maybe that's why I have it, because when it's named, it's gonna become way more powerful. Okay, you have 4 health now, and you're now another species, that's neat. Okay, so let's have you fight, I mean, just one shot, one shot, okay. Neat. But, a Cyclops, and attack him. Alright, whatever, I did a little bit of damage, it doesn't matter. I still don't think that the Draconaut will be able to do much. Wow, it got, it got destroyed. Okay, yeah, clearly enough I had messed up the order. The Lizardman is here before the other waters. Anyway, though, let's go to some actually powerful creatures known as Shizue. Now, this is a very powerful other water. I have the feeling she's gonna wreck absolutely everyone and everything. Let's see. Oh! Okay, I thought the Cyclops is gonna one-shot her. Oh my goodness, he actually beat her! Wait, no way. I'm actually kind of astounded by that. Okay, she's away. Let's try this again. Oh, wow. Wow. I mean, wow. I guess just the bad matchup. She's always destroyed. Anyway, next, Spirit Protector. Now, this guy is, uh, I mean, he's a beast. He should be able to handle this, I think. A single golem against the Spirit Protector. I mean... I guess the Colossus, not Golem, oh no, Cyclops is very powerful. But yeah, the Golem completely and utterly crushed it. I'm not even gonna bother to spawn a new uh, Colossus. I feel like you handle everything. Anyway, Hydra. Oh my goodness, I just fought that. The Hydra is technically can't die because it can. Uh, because unless it's on fire, it's just not gonna lose its life. But the Colossus specifically does have an ability that can counter that. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, I didn't think about that, but yeah. 
Okay then. I mean, <laughs> clearly the quest is way stronger. I don't even feel like there is a reason for me to spawn the other ones. There's only dragons left, I believe, and the Gorgon. Okay, just for the fun, I guess. Let's spawn a single lightning dragon. No. Okay, wait, if I go on peaceful, is it gonna disappear? No, it does not disappear. <sighs> Spirit Colossus, also, can you just finish it off real quickly? I'm trying to get a bigger dragon. It's kind of annoying I can't spawn the different tiers of dragons. I should be just hoping that they spawn it randomly. But yeah, there we go. Dragon absolutely destroyed it, so... I'm even... Okay, yeah, thank you. For a second I thought it's gonna do something. But... Okay, yeah, I guess it's big enough. It's not gonna matter. It's not like the biggest dragon is gonna do any difference. I mean, it might, but still. The Spirit Colossus is just insane. He's fought so many mobs already in a row. And clear enough, he barely takes any damage from the breath weapon of this dragon, so... Yeah, I'm not expecting too much. You know what, I'm gonna leave it there for now. I don't care. Ah, let's just go with the ultimate one. A Gorgon. Will that one be able to do absolutely anything against the Spirit Colossus? I sincerely doubt that. Also, why are you, turn why are you trying to turn these guys into stone? Literally. Ugh, whatever. You're just stupid, I get it. Anyway, Spirit Colossus against Gorgon. Use your power, use your power. Can you turn it? Wow, 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 would you look at that, it actually worked out, huh, I'm actually kind of impressed, I didn't think the Gorgon is gonna be this good, but yeah, uh, Sharknade of you know, the Gorgon was able to one shot the Spirit Colossus because of its insane ability, so let's have the strongest creature within the Tensor mode against the Gorgon, I mean, the Gorgon is a one, sh one hit kill, but... Yeah, I mean, honestly enough, unless it can activate it, I mean, I guess it's kind of a draw, isn't it? If the Gorgon is fast enough, it wins. If Hinata is faster, she wins. And... Yeah, okay. So it's literally just a 50-50. Whoever is able to do their attack first wins. Uh, well, actually Hinata needs two hits in order to win. But still, not very difficult for her. I mean, okay, well, this was something, wasn't it? I suppose there is only a single way to end this video, just like every single one of these. I do hope you had fun with it. There is a video there. You can subscribe to my channel there. But for now, bye. Yeah, there we go. This is more like it. Now, bye.